It's been around for years, and yet it still feels overpowered. I mean, just look at the screen real estate it occupies in the home feed of a mobile app. And if you can start to get into that feed every time a user opens up the YouTube app, and the news gets even better. Basically, YouTube remove the requirements for access in the community tab, so anyone can use it, even tiny channels. The reason community posts are so powerful is because it solves a big problem for small creators trying to grow their channels. Discoverability. This is how your channel is found by new viewers who aren't already subscribed to you. And for small channels, reaching these potential new audiences can be a bit of a challenge. The YouTube algorithm will give your channel a chance, but ultimately you are competing against everybody else on YouTube, in this list. So community posts can speed up the discovery process. It allows channels of all topics and sizes to reach new audiences that was previously only possible by making new videos which could take hours, days, maybe even weeks. As a quick example, this channel has 34,000 subscribers, but in a recent image poll they got 39,000 votes. This channel got 110,000 votes, with 73,000 subscribers reaching new audiences, right? Now admittedly, these are large channels, but small channels can still start building an audience. This channel, with just over a thousand subscribers, got 500 votes on this community post. And all of this is just the engagement metrics. Community posts get seen a lot. And our channel's numbers can prove that. Community posts got more impressions than live streams, and twice as many impressions as shorts shown in viewers' feeds. This resulted in over a thousand subscribers from our community posts alone. That's enough for monetization. And it's triple the number of subscribers we gain from live streams. This is incredible considering how easy it is to post one or two community posts a day versus a full on live stream. You're talking hours of preparation plus the live stream itself itself versus five minutes of your spare time. But you might be thinking, that's still time out of my day, and where do I come up with all of the ideas for these community posts? Well, that's where the vidIQ tool I mentioned earlier will come into play. But before I show you that, let's dive into the type of community posts that work. The ones that, if you focus on, will drive engagement and subscriber growth. So currently, there are five different types of posts you can make on the community tab, those being text posts, polls, images, quizzes, and videos. But we found that image polls are the clear winners when it comes to driving new engagement. And thanks to YouTube strategist Josh Howard, we have real data to back this up. Josh studied over 10,000 community posts, and as you can see, he found that on average, image polls perform 10 times better than any other type of community post. And we've seen clear evidence of this in the examples we've already shown you. And a channel to take some inspiration from is Omar ESPN. This simple post about what is the most popular sport in the world got three and a half million votes and 13,000 comments.